We wanted outdoor life, we wanted the countryside, we wanted to try and slow things down a bit. I was looking at this property and I was sure that the price tag literally was for a wing. We came up and we saw the house, the area is lovely, the countryside is breathtaking. We were sold on both. That's when the renovation journey began. Roland and Harriet Venables commissioned an architect to build Oakhurst Hall in 1854. So it was a family home. It was turned into a girls' boarding house. That's when a lot of the fireplaces and main, many of the original features were probably stripped out. A project like this is never going to be an instant fix, so you've got to be prepared to put in the years and put in the time. So this is the entrance hall. It's still a work in progress. We have, however, managed to paint the walls, which previously were bright yellow throughout the whole of the entrance hall, all the stairway, the top landing was very sunny and bright, but I actually prefer it calmer and cream. The floor is a massive, massive job. Some of the boards need replacing because they're broken, because it is obviously so old. Lots of things to be done, but uh, it is by far a massive improvement on what it was. The walls were this horrible, really dark, salmony pink, and the ceiling was the same colour as well. And I thought, oh God, that is going to take some serious work. Here had the thick, solid cast iron original central heating pipes running all the way through. So we had to strip all of that out, but we put a new central heating system in. The general layout of the kitchen we managed to work out just by coming in and getting a feel for the space. The initial kitchen came, but then you have to add things to make it your fabulous family space. The Argo was our biggest investment in the kitchen because we knew that was going to be a lifetime piece. The chandelier, that to me has been the crowning glory and it's starting to feel a lot like home, but there's still loads to do. This was a very bland, basic room, it was all cream, and it was just really dull. Straight away, it's gonna become a study come snug. And my husband's room, he wanted a gentleman club style feel. And we knew we were gonna go for a dark blue black to give it that gentlemanly club feel. When we were doing the soft furnishings, we weren't sure on the color, but we did end up going with like a Highland kind of check, which wasn't the feel we were going for really, but it just worked. And we went for the antler chandelier, which kind of made it a little bit hunting shooting as well. So I think with everything combined, this is most definitely a man cave. In its day for the Venables, it was the butler's pantry. But when we inherited it, it was an absolute wreck of a shell. It was bright yellow, crumbling ceilings, crumbling walls. It was horrendous. This room took a lot of sanding and filling and replastering because the walls started to crumble as we were working on them. Because it was going to be a cinema, we knew we'd never open the, the shutters anyway because our previous house, we just kept pulling the blind down. So I said, I'm going to actually just seal them closed, put insulation in behind. Because it, it is a window that looks onto the courtyard outside, we put mirrored glass into the frames so that from the courtyard you just see these lovely mirrored windows. We all sit in here most nights, absolutely love it. It's been a winner. So this room might look nice and beautiful now, but originally it was a run of urinals, a run of disgusting toilets. It was a staff toilet area and the whole room had to be gutted. It didn't look anything or smell anything like it does now. Started sourcing the kind of laundry room that we were looking for, which ended up being a magic online marketplace purchase, which was fabulous. It didn't look like this. It was a different color, but I sanded it, filled it, painstakingly painted it. Even though it's used, it's ours, so it doesn't feel like it's someone else's. Uh, it's unique. 
it's never normally this tidy and it's still not perfect. It's normally full of clothes and washing and rugby kits. So this is now the master suite and in its day it was big dorm for the girls boarding house and this room was bright orange. We needed to eliminate that vision in our head so we knew we wanted somewhere calming and relaxing. This room has been an absolute pleasure for me to, to renovate because I knew this was going to be our sanctuary. We wanted it to have a beautiful boutique hotel feel to it, a calming space to come and chill out in the evenings. We also managed to find this amazing bed on eBay, which was £500. It's from an old hotel, I think it was the bridal suite. It did, however, have a black leather headboard. So I had to go for the first time ever at upholstering. And I really enjoyed it, but it kills your fingers and kills your hands. It just works with the room and it makes the bed look far more elegant. We love it, we wouldn't change anything. You need to be able to afford the property to start with, um, but you also need to be able to afford to renovate it. And then finally, at the end of the day, you need to be able to afford to live in it. Upcycling is definitely the way to go. Buy a, an old piece of furniture on eBay for, for a, a small amount of money and then upcycle it and add lovely new handles and add a lovely worktop and you're gonna transform something. As you build your followers, you then get more opportunities to do collaborations. And I have to be honest, it has it's worked really well for us. The low sometimes can be that it's never ending and that every day is a renovation day. You don't always look lovely and clean and your hair isn't always washed. Certainly haven't had a manicure for about three years. And there's still loads more to add, but we've moved in, we're living in it and we love it.